With a beautiful large display, bold design, and a lighter profile, is the all-new Samsung Galaxy Note 5 worth the money you are spending on? Well, let's take a look at this in this review. I'm Amit from Phonera and let's get started with the features and what's good on the Note 5. First off, as you can clearly see, this is the beautiful design which when you tilt at a certain angle gives it a very better and a beautiful look. Again, this is the gold color variant which we have with us and this is a sleeker profile which we are talking about. This does look pretty good on your hand and uh, is pretty sturdy and has a complete metal body. This is a phone which comes with a built-in wireless charging, a fingerprint sensor and a button to eject the S Pen. Now, this was not the case in the earlier notes but this is the case on this Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Earlier you just had to pull out this S Pen but now you have this button to eject or push in this S Pen onto your device. Now that's one of the different features which you get on this device. Let's look into the phone and talk about the other features of this device. First off, let's go with the most important feature that's the S Pen. Now here you get the option of Air Command which has a series of different sub options like the Action Memo, Smart Select, Smart Screen Write, S Note and then you can also add different shortcuts like you can select few of your favorite applications and you can set them up under this option. Now once you're done with this, this would show up whenever you enable the Air Command feature. Now let's talk about few of these features. So let's say Action Memo is an option where uh, application wherein you can start writing any stuff which you would like to write and you can make use of this stylus. Next you have this uh, Smart Select feature wherein you can select whatever is available on your screen in either a rectangular format or you have this lasso wherein you can move around and select a specific area and you can uh, make any changes like you can share you can write onto it you can save it into scrapbook or save it into your gallery you also have different options like oval and then auto shape now these are few of those options which you get under this uh, air command features let's go back and show you the other options so here you also have the option of uh, screen write wherein you get the option of uh, smart screen scrolling capture when let's say you are browsing something on the browser and you would like to take a larger capture then that's also possible with this uh, note 5's new feature so let's say you're reading this article and you would like to take a longer screen capture just enable this and mention tap on screen right and then tap on scroll capture following which anything you scroll would be captured tap, tap on capture mode and it would be captured and once you're done tap on done and you will get a longer capture so these are few of those uh, new features which you get on the air command on the note 5 again few of those i mentioned just mentioned are part of the whole air command features so you can also connect this with the s note and make use of the stylus as an alternate to your finger and uh, use it everywhere but again do make a note that you can disable this or i personally feel that's a flaw which is available under the s pen wherein you once you enable the power saver the whole thing would be disabled and uh, the s pen won't work so it should not have been called as power saver mode but probably should have been called as an uh, option to just disable the s pen now let's talk about the display the device has a 518 ppi of sharp display which looks pretty cool when you start using the device and again it's a 2k display so you can have a great experience the optimized touch with ui is uh, something which i'm totally proud of and i'm finally a fan of touch uh, completely once you start experiencing you can also know the reason of the same Moving from the LG G4's uh, UI which was pretty sluggish and hanged a lot, I feel this is pretty good and you can clearly see this has to be one of the best touchways you have exp ever experienced. So let's move on and uh, also show you some of the other features which you get pre-installed onto this phone. Now by default you get a theme store where you can uh, download few other themes which you would like to install on this device and apart from that you also get an option of one-handed operation and easy multitasking. Then you can divide the screen into two screens and run two applications at the same time. Now that's one of those features which you have earlier also received on the Galaxy Note 4 or the other devices from Samsung. But downloading themes is something new. And if you clearly make a notice that all of these icons are having rounded corners, if you clearly notice on all the application icons. Now that's something new on the Note 5. Now let's talk about 
camera which is one of the most important features of this device now in terms of the camera the device comes with uh, the same camera as we had seen on the galaxy s6 and this is by far one of the best cameras we have seen on um, the samsung smartphones the only camera which has actually beaten this one is the lg g4 and that too under low lightning apart from that this is one of the best cameras i would say which you can try off Again, the camera comes with the same resolution as S6 and it comes with a new video collage mode which is something very new and which can be useful in uh, creating different vines or Instagram videos. And there's also a live broadcast feature which works similar to the way YouTube works and this is as simple as that you get. Just tap on it to connect to your Google account or your account and then you are almost ready to do a live broadcast. Tap on live and you are done. So that's as simple as that. Next up, the device also comes with one of the best front camera and here is a selfie which we had captured with the Note's front camera and a few samples which have been captured with the Galaxy Note 5. In terms of the charging, the device comes with a quick charge feature and uh, comes with a new charger which you will have to always use in case if you would like to get the quick charging feature and the device charges in less than 90 minutes to a full charge and that's all thanks to the quick charging feature. Again, there's also a slow option which is uh, using the wireless charging but that's all about the convenience if you want to go for it. And Samsung has just confirmed at the launch event that the quick charging pad would also be given to all the users who purchase it through the e-store. Now let's talk about the flaws or the features which are missing on this device. So first off, I feel that there is no removable ba uh, battery option which is something which may turn off a few of the buyers who are looking for extending the battery on this device by repl replacing the stock battery with a new one. And then second uh, option is the no SD card slot. Now that's one of the biggest issues on this device. By default you get only two, two variants that's the 32GB and 64GB variant and the flaw with that is that out of 32GB you get around 24 to 25GB available and within a few some amount of time you can find that 24GB would be out considering that the device records in RAW and 4K uh, video recording. It's clearly something which is very low and Samsung should have provided a SD card slot option considering that there are also duos or the dual sim variants available in the market wherein one sim could also have been swapped with the micro SD card slot so the minimum option required on this device is the SD card slot and that's the biggest barrier I see right now on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 the second thing is that there's no IR blaster and I think that shouldn't have costed much but that is something which is actually missing on the Note 5 on the Note 4 we did have that and uh, when we use that with the peel application this was one of the best combinations ever in terms of uh, what you could do while this is one more flaw you can see this which mentions that the SD S Pen has been detached but as you can see it has not been detached here and that's a regular flaw which I have been seeing and that could be device specific but that is something which I have been noticing and uh, it comes up while doing nothing on the phone randomly while accessing or using the phone the S Pen flaw shows up now let me just pull this out and show it to you so here it's pretty normal S Pen is back but you still get the S Pen uh, command options now within a few seconds you would see that S Pen has been disconnected uh, warning and that's one of those flaws which I have seen on this device and finally the final flaw which I see on this device is the 3000 mAh of battery considering the great compact design and uh, the touchbase UI and everything which is good I feel that a 2k display should have have been got at least 3600 or 4000 mAh of battery or maybe Samsung should have worked on optimizing the same because on general usage I have seen that the device is offering me around 4 hours of uh, screen on time which is pretty low considering that uh, the these phones or the Note series was one of the best phones which had the 
highest SOTs and which lasted for a longer period. But nonetheless, that's what you get on the Galaxy Note 5. Finally, it's accepted that this is larger or a blown up version of the Galaxy S6, except the fact that this comes with an stylus. So if you're looking for a phone with the stylus, then this phone is for you. While if you're looking for a phone which is compact and uh, very convenient to hold in your hand, then you can still go back to the S6. This was the review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 on Phone Radar. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and stay subscribed to Phone Radar for more. This is Amit signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Do let me know in the comment section below if you have any queries around this smartphone. Thank you.